This is where I'd always wanted to play because as a kid I was a Dodger fan and I always had my radio listening to Vince Scully and really sort of uh, imagining myself one day playing in Dodge Stadium. Dusty Baker was excited to return to the West Coast and play for the Dodgers in 1976, but his first season was disappointing. Following that season, a big change came in the Dodger dugout as Tommy Lasorda succeeded Walter Alston as the team's manager. Hey, go ahead and let's go! Game is gone! And offered a fresh start to the 27-year-old outfielder. I knew one thing, right? he wasn't that kind of a hitter. He had just a great ton of talent. That was the turning point in my career. They had a chance to trade me to the Cubs, but Tom Lasorda said that I was his left fielder. The 1977 Dodgers cruised to an NL West division title, and on the final day of the season with a playoff spot clinched, Dusty had a chance to make history. Sitting on 29 home runs, he needed one more to join Ron Say, Steve Garvey, and Reggie Smith as the first four teammates ever to hit 30 home runs in a single season. The Dodgers actually staged a photo they all posed on the field as if they'd already done it. Meanwhile, Dusty's still stuck on 29. That's pressure. <laughs> Three of us were in the book, and he had to he had to deliver that day. And against all guys, J.R. Richard. I hit a line drive, first at bat, foul tip one to the catcher's glove, and struck out. And I said, man, I'm not going to get it. And then Tom Lasorda, he comes over me and says, Dusty, don't you ever say that. You got to believe. I said, Dusty, if you hit a home run, we go into the record books. So when you get up there, just say to yourself, I'm going to hit a home run. And then I went up to that next at bat, and that ball looked like a stop. Oh, goodbye, goodbye! We were all excited. As much for him as we were for the four of us, really, collectively, that it was the first time it had been done. And then, as he crossed home plate, another slice of history transpired. Glenn Burke so excited, and he raises his arm high into the air. He had his hand back like this. So what was I supposed to do? So I hit his hand. And that suddenly becomes the first high five in baseball history. It was no big deal. Glenn Burke did it, not me. Everybody says it was me, it was Glenn. Dusty really became part of the Southern California landscape. He was the cool Dodger because he had the wristband. It was every single day this guy would show up looking like he ought to be on a magazine cover. All the little things add up to who you are and your character and, and your personality. This, I've always said there's two things, style and class, and Dusty had both.